Hey guys, this is another video tutorial of Windows System Programming. In this tutorial, we are going to cover the Slim Reader Writer Lock in Windows Operating System. So in this tutorial, we are going to see about the shared mode. In tutorial number 26, I have already covered the exclusive mode of Slim Reader Writer Lock. So in a couple of minutes, I am going to recap the Slim Reader Writer Lock and the exclusive mode. And then after that, we see the detailed discussion about the slim reader writer lock in shared mode so basically slim reader writer lock is another variant of critical section in windows only difference is srw lock allow multiple reader threads at the same time generally we will be having multiple reader thread and single writer thread then if we are using critical section for the synchronization of threads then each reader thread will have to wait for the other reader thread to leave the critical section but if we are using the SRW lock, then it allow multiple reader threads at the same time, which provide the more concurrency on multiprocessor system. SRW lock cannot be shared between the processes. SRW lock is a user object, not a kernel object. So they don't allow recursive lock as like critical section and mutex allows. So Windows operating system introduce slim reader writer locks which provide two modes for sharing the resources one is the exclusive mode and second one is the shared mode so slim reader writer lock in exclu exclusive mode when the lock has been acquired no other threads can access the resource until writer release the lock it allows reader read write access to one writer thread at a time so this one is a typical diagram of the one writer thread and one reader thread. They are trying to access the shared memory in exclusive mode. Then writer thread is writing. Then reader thread will wait until writer thread release the log. Same thing happened for reader thread is reading. Then writer thread will wait until reader thread release the log. So suppose if we have one writer thread and two reader threads in exclusive mode, then reader thread can access the resource sequentially, but not recommendable. But here, uh, writer thread always in exclusive mode and writer always in the shared mode if we are using the two reader thread. It does not affect if we are using in exclusive mode. So this one is a typical uh, layout for if writer is executing in X SRW exclusive log then reader 1 and reader 2 will be wait if reader, reader 1 is executing in exclusive log then writer and reader 2 thread will be waiting a state same thing for reader 2 so here there are some APIs for exclusive mode for SRW lock, one is the initialize SRW lock, acquire SRW lock exclusive, release SRW lock exclusive, try acquired SRW lock exclusive, which I have already covered in tutorial number 26. So our main purpose is slim reader writer lock in shared mode. So here there is one writer and uh, three readers thread is trying to acquire the shared mode. So what will happen? Read only access to multiple reader threads reading the data from shared resources concurrently so performance increase and through put compared to critical section so sharing the resources with critical section what will happen so each critical in critical section each resource access the shared memory sequentially but in the case of SRW lock what will happen in SRW lock, only writer thread in exclusive mode and reader thread in shared mode. So multiple reader thread access the resource at the same time. So these are the difference between the critical section SRW lock. In SRW lock, 8 bytes of memory in 64-bit operating system. Here in critical section, 40 bytes of memory in 64-bit operating system. So definitely execution is fast in the case of SRW lock in shared mode. In critical section, execution is slower. Multiple, reader, <coughs> multiple re readers execute in parallelly, but in the case of critical section, they can't execute in parallel. SRW lock is non reentrant and critical section is reentrant. Here, if we are using the SRW lock, if we have a multiple reader thread, then what will happen? Writer starvation. 
but in the case of critical section no writer starvation so typically the reader writer problem i'm you i'm assuming there are multiple variation of this example but here i'm assuming writer priority so these are the algo algo for the writer and reader so writer general uh, what will happen writer acquire the lock then write something then release the lock and signal for the reader in reader case what will happen it acquire the lock here i am assuming reader count this one is a global variable i am assuming suppose if we have a multiple reader then so i'm checking the condition reader count equals to 1 then writer will sleep that time means i'm not allowing writer thread to write something then after that i release the lock and then i'll perform the reading operation then i'm acquiring the lock then reader count i'm decrementing why because if we have a multiple reader thread then what will happen first reader will acquire the lock increment the value and then release the lock and it will perform the write operation then it will decrement the value then we can assume that okay how many uh, reader thread we have then if the reader count equal to equal to 0 then what will happen writer will try to acquire the lock for the writing then i am releasing the lock of reader and then signal for the writer okay i have completing i have completed reading you can write it now there are the some important notes about the critical section and srw log srw log does not give any guarantee for the ownership of thread srw log does not upgrade ownership that means if thread acquire in shared mode then ownership does not upgrade to the exclusive mode one disadvantage is that it store little information compared to the critical section so they are fast because they use the less memory than critical section if multiple reader option we have then use non inherent lock that is the srl lock here are the windows apis for the srw lock shared mode which i am <coughs> which i'll use in coding first one is the initialize srw lock initialize srw lock is common for the shared mode and exclusive mode then acquired srw lock mode srw lock in shared mode slip conditional variable i'll use here then try to acquire srw lock shared mode release srw lock shared mode then wake all conditional variable because i'm going to use the conditional variable so check the tutorial number 10 how to create thread if you are not aware of the conditional variable then you can check tutorial number 24 and check tutorial number 21 for the critical section for thread synchronization also you can check description box for the about tutorial link and i have taken the reference from the msdn.microsoft.com so these are the apis Uh, in slice srw log function it uh, the return type of that that function is nothing and it, it will take the pointer of the log acquire srw log in shared mode same thing function does not return anything and it will take the pointer of the log and check for this condition if you want to explore more and more in slim reader log reader writer log so try to acquire a srw lock in shared function so what will happen attempt to acquire a slim reader writer lock in shared mode if the call is successful the calling thread takes ownership of the lock otherwise it will wait wait means it will wait for the <coughs> the waiting is like the spin wait sleep conditional variable this is the most important things in reader writer lock so this return type of that function is a boolean type and uh, it takes the four argument first one is the conditional variable pointer to the conditional variable then srw lock pointer of this lock and then ha how many second or we have to wait so we here we have to provide and the flag flag is the most important thing if you see here if this parameter is conditional variable lock mode say or the srw lock is in shared mode otherwise lock in exclusive mode if you write here zero so it will be in exclusive mode if you write the macro then it will be in shared mode 
wake up all conditional variable wake all thread waiting on the specified conditional variable the function returns nothing and it will take the pointer to the conditional variable so <coughs> here I'm assuming that you know how to create thread so in main function if you see here I'm taking one the one handle for the writer thread and here I'm taking the array of reader thread so basically I'm I want to create the two reader one writer so this one is the writer thread code then here I am taking the for loop I am creating the two readers then uh, wait, f wait for single object for the threads and then closing the handle for that so what I'll do here in global variable in global variable I am going to create the conditional variable basically conditional variable is used for the signaling mechanism so I'm using your CVW for writer and then reader and then I'm going to initialize the SRW lock then one global variable and one global variable for reader count so basically reader count equal to 0 so first step is that initialize the conditional variable so I am going to initialize initialize conditional variable so we have to initialize the conditional variable so here I am passing the writer then a reader then we have to initialize the SRW log if I am using that API that means I am initialize the SRW lock structure in dynamic way so step 3 is creating the thread for the writer and then step 4 is creating the two reader threads and then here I have to use the wake up all conditional variables so wake all conditional variable for the then writer also a reader also and then for wait for single object for reader and writer thread and then after that I'm closing the handle for that so we have done our coding here now let's move to the writer thread writer thread what we have what we have to do here writer thread always be in exclusive mode so no need to check any condition acquire SRW lock in shared mode and then here we have to pass the lock then release SRW lock SRW lock in shared mode and then lock so in between this we have to write our logic so I am writing here x equal to let's say x plus 5 and then I am printing the message C out I have done here end of this line x writer 
and after releasing the log what I have to do here I have to wake up the signal for the reader so wake conditional variable and pointer to the conditional variable so here we have to signal for the reader and then after that I am using the slip means delay delay I am using the one second so now uh, writer thread we have done go for the reader so reader what I'll do here just I'm copying this line first we have to acquire the lock and then we have to check the reader count I'm incrementing the value then I'm checking the condition if reader count equals to 1 then I want to stop a writer thread to don't write anything so here the conditional variable for the writer then second argument is the lock so lock and third argument is the time so I am defining here the by default time and then flag so flag we have to use here conditional variable lock mode shared then after that what I have to do here I am releasing the lock here and then I have to perform reading operation so see out X then end of this line reader and then same logic we have to write here for suppose if we are using the multiple reader then what will happen then release SRW lock then I am checking the condition here if reader minus minus then what will happen if condition we have to check here if read count will be 0 that means this one is the last reader and then we have to try to acquire SRW lock in shared mode lock and then we have to use the wake conditional variable for writer so control we do it so and then I'm using the delay for that so it looks good here we have to use the double I'm get signal for the writer so 
it looks good so this one is the reader thread and then this one is the writer so build our solution build succeeded and try to debug our code so if you see here writer reader first one is uh, some mismatching but does not worry about that it does not give the ownership of that the first time it will happen if you see here like uh, three times here writer one then reader two times then writer then reader so so this one is the output of the shared mode of the srw log so hope you like this video thanks for watching this video do hit comment share and subscribe this channel